Okay, welcome back to another episode of How To. My name is Bitzelberg, and today I will introduce you to playing Dual Commander on MTG Online. A couple of years ago, I made an introduction to playing Dual Commander and Cockatrice. These days, or actually from today on, you have the chance to play a serious format on a serious platform. So let's get right into it. You can Google MTGO or just use the link in the description to download it. Once you've finished, you will end up at this page. And before we can log in, obviously you have to create a new account. They will ask you for your date of birth, which can't be the 48th of March. Uh, we will just, as an example, put in some random numbers. Later on, you have to enter your email, first and last name, and this one will be your nickname you are using on MTGO. I think in a later stage you can change it, but it comes with a small fee, so make sure to use the name that you really want to play with. Once you're done, we just log in and start. Once you're logged in, you see this starting page. Uh, here you see a couple of featured events and here are the premier events. Uh, they're not that interesting to us right now. Over here you have your buddies list, also quite empty for me. Then you have a couple of tabs. You have the collection tab. This one is the second most interesting one we have constructed at which we will play later. And then there is limited, there is a store in, it, in which you can buy several things. And there is the trade tab. So let's get started. We need some cards in order to play Dual Commander. If you go over to the collection tab, for you this should be empty. So we have a couple of options to, to get some cards. Uh, we can trade cards for in-game currency. We can buy cards from, from vendors. We can also go over and buy some boosters. That's definitely a, a variant I would not recommend. So what I'm doing is I use a card rental service, which is called Mana Traders. In order to use that, you have to buy the collection upgrade kit for $5. So that's a, pretty much the first thing you should do. We put that into the cart, check out, and then it will go over to another window and you do the whole auth authentication stuff. You have your, your visa and uh, security code and whatsoever, and then you complete the purchase and then it should be done. So you see a couple of more cards. I think actually I just said that you have no cards, but you should have one copy of, of each here from the, from the latest standard set, something like this. And then it doubles or quadruples uh, depending on, on the cards. Here you have a playset of Remand, I think. It, it adds some cards to your collection, but definitely not enough and not the cards you need in order to build your Dual Commander deck, especially because we are using the Eternal card pool and those are only standard cards. So in order to get a deck, we head over to Mana Traders. So this is the card rental service I'm using. They offer quite a nice variety on different subscription models, you can have the ultimate package for up to 1250 ticks. This is definitely for vintage and legacy, I assume, where you have to have several copies of quite expensive cards. And then there are things in between. For the special formats, we have here as a standard package. Then here is a base package with 150 ticks and 100 cards. If you're playing a monocolor dual commander deck, that's definitely a package I can recommend because most of the decks will not exceed 150 ticks if they are monocolored, even if you play fetch lands. And then for the ultimate package, if you want to try almost anything in Dual Commander, you just have to go for the Commander package, which has 450 ticks, a cap for $26 a month. And if we head back to the Thrasios four color list, you see that I even have all the six dual lands and stuff inside it. We're still only at 
220 ticks roughly. So this is this is really the best option you can you can select, I think, if you want to try out anything the format has to offer. Again, if you if you're a passionate monocolor player, then the the $16 package is, is fairly enough. Make sure to use our link in the description to save 10% off of your first two months. And without further ado, we will get right into it. So in order to show you the first login process, I actually have to log out first. So at the starting page, you will most likely head over to login or register. If you've already registered, then you can log in. But to register, you need to enter your NTGO username and register with one of the four options, Google, Facebook, Twitter, or PayPal. Just keep in mind, the email that you're using here will be linked to your account. You can change that later, but, but still. Uh, once you've done this, we go over to log in. And then we will enter the password and go over to our subscription. So that's how your dashboard looks like. You see a couple of stats regarding your subscription and the cards you are using right now. In order to get a subscription, you click on our link, which you should really do because it helps the channel and supporting our project. We go down and we select the subscription model that you want to go for, whether it's the ultimate one or just the base package. You click on get subscription, something like this, it should be for you. And then go through the steps. There will be a know your customer process. So you have to upload your ID card with your photo and stuff. And of course you also have to enter your payment methods. Keep in mind that the identification process can take up to 48 hours. So once you did that, you will go back to my account. And on the left side, there will be a category referring your identification process, whether it's already done or still in process. Once that's finished, or even while they are still processing it, we can already head over to the deck builder section. And here we can actually upload our desired deck list. I switched back to failure. This says failure MTGO because if we have a look at the list, I made two changes that I had to do. I'm playing the spellbook vendor and the tangle wire two slots I'm curious about testing since unfortunately not all the cards are available on MTGO. So I'm missing Astrid as well as the pre-war formal wear. Maybe they will be introduced later, but for now we have to play without them. So we click on export and then copy for MTGO. And over here we can click on upload a deck and just copy paste. And then we go for upload. Now you see the 100 cards that you imported. And here on the right side, you also see the costs of various cards. So the White Bloom Adventure, for example, is relatively expensive with 11 ticks. It's not too expensive. Other cards are rather cheap, as you see. Uh, so here the City of Traders with 15 ticks, quite expensive. But overall, I think it's, it's fine. And then you go over to save the deck. And here you can enter archetype, deck name, and the uh, and respective format. By the time this video arrives, there should be dual commander as a selection too. And then you go over to my decks category and here you have your deck. If your verification process is finished, it's very important, otherwise you cannot yet rent any cards. We go back to MTGO, to the collection tab, and we have to add a binder, which I will call dual commander. And then you can select an icon or something like this. It's not too relevant. We click on OK. And here on the left side, you see the different trade binders we have. Now we go back to mana traders. And here we go for view at the deck. And on the right side, it says rent deck. This is the, the current ticks rate 
that you would have to pay in order to receive the deck. So let's go for rent deck. And now it asks you for your MTGO username, which should be the same. You entered it at some point, so that should be correct. We go for rent and then it will head over to a new page. And here it, it, it shows you the progress of downloading the cards. And now there will be a Mana Delivery Bot 2 that asks your MTGO to trade the cards. Give it some time, the tool is not too fast. Here we go. You click Dual Commander for the binder. Otherwise, if you would go for the full trade list, it would insert all the cards in here. It's not too bad if that's happening. Sometimes it's a bit bugged. We can still figure it out, but let's go for Dual Commander and accept. And now they will open a window and it will be all the cards from this particular deck. We click on one card and then Control A to select all the cards and drag them over to the left box. Again, it might take some time or I'm not patient enough. There we go. You will receive. The de delivery bot doesn't receive anything. We go for submit. Confirm trade. Now we can close the window here and we see we have all the cards added to our collection. And it seems that they were not added to our dual commander binder, but instead to the full trade list. But that's not a problem at all. We just have to create a new deck here. Let's call it Felia. Here will be dual commander. For now, I will use free form commander. And then we head over to mana traders and we click download deck in MTGO format. Okay, here we go. And then you go for import, choose the deck. It will automatically switch back to vintage. You can select your format again and we click OK. And here it will open or show you all the cards in this particular deck. For some reason, Tangle Wired is marked incorrectly. But now we have the, the 99 and our commander in the sideboard. So we have our deck and we are ready to go. All we have to do now is going over to the constructed area. Go for free form commander open play. As I said, by the time this video releases, there will be a dual commander section. You just have to create a game. Two players, you can decide whether or not anybody or just buddies join. And you can also decide how many minutes you want to play. So that's for each player, as far as I know. So yeah, you just go and select that, create, and there will be my session. And I will just leave the event. And then you can go right away and play some dual commander matches. Once you finish playing, it's very important to trade your cards back to the bot. So mana traders can receive back the cards and rent them to other players that want to play this format or any other format. To do this, we just go back to our collection and here at the mana traders account, you will, if you head over to my account, you will see this rental limits box. So you have 100 cards rented in this case, and we've used 134 ticks roughly. So we just click for request a trade and return cards, which we will just do. And now it has to
Oh, that was fast. We click to trade with the bot. We go for the full trade list since the cards are not in a dual commander binder. That's quite important. So we go for the full trade list. Then it searched for all the cards in the full trade list. And you don't have to select anything. It will automatically sort out the cards that it wants to have. Here are exactly 100, 100 items that we received earlier. Then you go for submit. Confirm trade. And here it says, complete the trade. <clears throat> Thanks for shopping. Have a nice day. <clears throat> Let's go back. Trade is not fully done. Now we are good. Has been completed. You can close the chat. And now these cards are framed in a way that you had this deck, but now you don't have it anymore. But of course you can get them back anytime. And that's pretty much it. So now your MTGO rents section should look like this. Zero cards rented and zero ticks used. So we're ready for the next monocolor deck. Or if you want to try out more in Dual Commander, you just go over to the dashboard, manage subscriptions, and then you can cancel your current one and or upgrade to another one. I will definitely go for the Commander variant because I want to play multicolor decks at some point too. Uh, but this one is definitely a nice package to get into Mana Traders and the whole MTGO thingy overall. That's it from my side. I hope this little introduction was useful to you to get started right away with playing Dual Commander or Commander or any other format on MTGO. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Also, if you have any questions, we will try to answer them and get a solution. Apart from that, thanks for tuning in and see you in the next one. Bye bye.